So welcome back to the channel. I don't know how good the sound quality is right now, but I'll try my best because it's too windy and there are too many cars. So as you can tell, I have a new toy. After months of waiting for it, it finally arrived. Friday but did not have a t any time to set it up so all right it so uh, I had to wait until the weekend to do it So, like I said, it came to my door on Friday and um, I put it together today. So, it came really well packaged. I mean, kudos to, um, to Seastrom because they did a good job packaging everything. So the unboxing was pretty simple and you just take the little tabs and pick up the lid or the top and you have access to the rest of the bike. So it appears to be like off by a few, well, maybe three, three miles per hour. So it says just 26 and a, I don't know how accurate it is. I have to do a better test for that. But um, it doesn't seem to be accurate. The odometer is kind of like off a little bit. 
so we shall see how fast I go. actually liking about this um, bicycle it's, it's my size it's literally my size I could put both feet on the ground and I don't feel like I'm gonna tip over like I used to feel with the with the juice bike it's actually I could put my foot flat on the ground Which is a good thing. So that's the best part of it that I like is that it's actually my size. And I, I love the handlebars. They actually feel like a motorcycle type of um, So they do feel really good. I don't know if you can see my shoes right there. Uh, I mean, this detail right there, and then you have all the good stuff right here. You have the good stuff right here. So you have your lights, your signals, your horn, and right here you have your pedal assist modes. What else do I have? I mean, self-explanatory screen. What else do I have? Oh, we have suspension. Your signals are right here. Your headlights right here. Now I am connected to the app. So it's connected. Um, The brakes are four piston, they're not two. They're 200 and plus rotors. Um, what else? Of course you have your hydraulic brakes, your mud guards, battery, 20 amp, um, cushy seat, really nice grips. Upside up right side up I'm gonna say right side up shifter not like the juice upside down thing that they had so that's pretty cool cables management super nice um, tires really cool uh, pedals the woggle type that I don't like so I put my own so I could clip on them because I have a clip on my my pedals i don't know if you can see so i do that a lot what else do i have on this thing um not a lot of um place to put things on your handlebars so a lot of stuff that i need to have like my my wahoo i'm gonna have to put it somewhere else because i can't even see it my foam mount is kind of weird. Oh, by the way, mine came with a foam mount. I wasn't expecting a foam mount. So, yeah. So I wasn't expecting the foam mount. And it came with it. Mine, of course, I got a black. 
the light is really nice. The assembly was pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Came with the keys. Of course, I put my false sense of um, of security here because I don't know about the upside down battery. It makes me nervous. So, so yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, it's rather loud, but I think those are all have motors. So right now I'm riding mostly um, rattle only, mainly because I don't have um, my radar and I don't have a mirror so I can't see for anything. So I'm going to do a queer turn right here. And I'm gonna wait for for another car to come in and give us a yeah. I mean, no, I'm in the way, but <laughs> so everything's really nice. This is my first ride, of course. I haven't been this at all so this is like the very very first ride i still have a little sticker on the thing so So I think it has um, eight speed or nine speed. I'm not sure I have to check, but it's pretty cool. Of course, I'm gonna be pedaling when I go to work with it because uh, the battery's not gonna be enough. And 20 amp battery is just for one way really. And that's mostly pedaling. So, so things that I don't like. There was just one thing I didn't like. Is that I wanted to put my um, Put my Shinko's tire. And that way it'll make all my tires puncture resistant. Because there's a lot of things that I do to them so they don't get flat. So, and if they do, they could self heal with um, the flat out goo that I put on in them. But the rear tire wasn't <coughs> as accessible to be unplugged I mean I could take the nuts off but I could not unplug easily unplug the motor the motor is in this container that they had and it's sealed So 
all the connections to the motor are sealed, so I couldn't unplug the motor from the controller to, to take out the wheel. So I could swap <coughs> my Shinkos and put um, my Tannis and all the good stuff that I usually put on my tires. So I'm only running it with flat out right now. So I want to I wanna email the company and ask them if it'll be okay to open the, uh, the little thing, the little casing to unplug the motor because um, I'm, I'm bound to get a flat. If anybody is familiar with my, my YouTube, they know that where I ride, it's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, but more of like when I get a flat. And just the nature of the beast. See, some people, I don't know if they're going to turn, so they, <laughs> they ride too close to the edge. So I always feel like they're going to turn, but they don't, so they kind of freak me out. Anyway. But this is my neighborhood, so it's not as scary as where I go to work. But still, it's kind of scary when I'm not sure if they're just going to out of the blue churn. Anyway, so that this is my first ride, so it's not even a review. It's just my first impression of the C3 Strum. So I wanted to test it out, make sure that I don't have to call the company for for them to fix things. And so far so good. So far it's doing what it said it would do. So far it's doing what it was supposed to do. And um, it feels pretty pretty good actually. I'm actually liking it a lot. exception of that little thing with that um, I'm plugging the motor and the weight the weight's pretty it's a pretty heavy bike it's, it's heavier than the than the juice scrambler without a battery because that thing with the battery was Pretty heavy, so I'm using the. See, this is the best example of where you will use your throttle, and and like you can pedal over your one, but you won't be able to um, go up to speed. So this is the best um, example I could give you of um, of why having a throttle is, is a good thing. Even if you don't get to use it much, um, yeah. So with this one, I have to be careful because um, because it's too close to the ground and it's it's not as high. Like um, I feel like I'm gonna tip over at times, so I better be careful with the uh, with the turns. And I haven't written um, a, a hub drive for like, gosh, I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, since August, it's already November, so it's a lot. So months, like three months, I haven't had a chance to write a hub motor. So, 
it's pretty loud. And I thought that my Neo Bronx bike was loud. Yeah, the thing's still loud. It's louder than my mid, my, than my mid drive. So this is my first impression of the C3 Strum. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to um, answer the questions. But so far so good. I mean, it's been only one ride, but it, it, it rides like a... It rides like a dream. So, I hope you liked it. Until next time, um, ride safely.